Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my updated official foundation routine. And I haven't done my um, foundation routine on my channel in a while. So I know I just filmed the one where I was trying to follow Jackie's foundation routine, which that video was so fun to film. And I just want to thank those of you who watched that video. Like I did not expect that video to do as well as it did but um i had a lot of fun in that video and i really wanted to come back and show you guys my official foundation routine um and there are a couple of things that i do differently which you guys will see in the video if you guys have been watching me for a while um and there is one thing that i took away from jackie's foundation routine that i have been doing ever since i filmed that video and you guys will see that as well but i'm excited to show you guys this how i do this face this is a full on beat if you guys want to see my foundation routine like my no makeup makeup foundation routine let me know but this is full blown full coverage except for you know glam as far as like the lashes and all of that but anyway i am very excited to show you guys my foundation routine so if you are interested in seeing it then let's go ahead and jump right in so i think i want to switch up moisturizer today i'm gonna use my glow recipe watermelon glow pink juice yeah pink juice moisturizer which is also a gel moisturizer i've been using gel moisturizers for the summer I wanted to switch it up this time because y'all know I've been using my Garnier Skin Active gel moisturizer in like so many of my recent videos so we switched it up today and then my primers I have two that I like to use together one has SPF this is the Milani protect and prime these are actually the two that I just shared in my um, drugstore makeup starter kit so you guys will see how I use these so this one like I said has SPF and this one does not have SPF but this one is by Rimmel and it's the stay matte so this one's matte this is more moisturizing what I like to do is put on a mattifying primer on my t-zone because I get oily right here so we're gonna rub this in like these my forehead a little on my chin just right in this area because this is where I always get the most um, shiny and then just make sure to pat the rest in like this and then this is where I go in with my Milani primer. Now you don't have to necessarily use the products that I'm using today. This is just my go-to foundation routine. Um, and then I'll just rub in the one by Milani. Love this primer. It's like moisturizer, primer, and an SPF in one. So nice on the skin. All right, so this next step, um, I can either do two ways. I can go in with my brows first or I can go ahead and do my foundation. So today I'm actually gonna do my brows first. When I don't do my brows first, I do those um, last and that's when I'm doing like a very minimal no makeup makeup look, which I have several of those videos already on my channel. Um, but today we're gonna do the brows. Do I wanna show you guys this step? I know I've shown you guys this step in a few videos in the past. I'll go ahead and show you guys what I do. So I'm gonna take the CoverGirl pencil in the shade um, soft brown and first I just like to brush out the brow hairs with the little spoolie and then I'll go in with the pencil side and just pretty much trace well lightly because I don't want to do a heavy hand with this I just lightly trace the bottom of my brow like this can you guys see what I'm doing and then I'll go in and kind of lightly trace the top of the brow I used to overdraw my brows to make them look thicker but now I like them where they look like my natural brow just a little bit more bold so I just pretty much keep them the same size and this is where I lightly blend in that product inside the brow like this just kind of make them a little bit more darker like that okay now we're done with filling them in i know they look crazy but this is the main reason why i like to do my brows first is because i always use a concealer to clean up my brows so i always use my kevin aquan 
sensual skin yeah the sensual skin enhancers i have the shade 13 and 14 you do not have to use these i know these are pretty pricey i use them because i didn't want them to go to waste they did send these over to me to try out but um i use the shade 13 for the bottom and then i use the shade 14 for the top of the brow so i go in with this little um sh um angled brush by elf cosmetics you can get this from target and I just go in with a little bit of the product and just pretty much line the bottom of the brow like this. But yeah, I feel like it's just so much better for me to do my brows first when I'm doing a full on full coverage look. But as messy as I want with the concealer like what I'm doing right now. And once I put on my foundation, it just pretty much goes over. Like I can actually blend the foundation into the concealer. Whereas if I did a full beat, um, like a full coverage in my brows last, I just think it looks, I don't know. It just looks different to me. It doesn't look how I like it to look. All right, now we're gonna go into the shade 14. This one is, um, it's a little orange, but honestly, I don't really, focus on like if the shade is good or if it's too dark to you know too light because we still go over it with the foundation so you can't see the concealer around my brows once I do my foundation but this is how I apply it I just drag it over my brow like that like that sometimes when I feel like I did my brow too thick that's when the concealer can fix it because I can kind of take the concealer down into the brow just a little bit so that way it won't be as thick as it was so I don't know if you guys noticed that but I did kind of make it a little bit more thin and then I just blend the concealer up like this see how clean it just makes the brow look like it makes it look so clean and precise I'm gonna go back under it just a little bit I'm actually going to pick up a mirror so I can see. Now for the foundation, you guys know, I go through so many foundations as far as like trying them out. Um, so today I'm just gonna stick with my Clinique um, Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer because I have been loving this, but I'm using the shade Warm, what is this? Ooh, yeah, I already primed my face. I was about to say I didn't prime my face, but this is a shade Golden, 24 Golden. Um, but yeah, I've been using this one a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I might be going in with too much of the product because you honestly don't need this much. Why did I even put this much on my face? Now, what I have been using a lot recently is the Farsali Face Mist. You guys know I mentioned this one in my monthly favorites and hate it's last month. And I told you guys I wasn't really a fan of it, but hello look at this I have been using it the way Jackie's been using it so she would of course spray it before and then she also sprays it after she get done um, after she gets done doing her makeup and then she presses it in into the skin which I have been doing like crazy ever since I filmed that video but let me just spray but yeah I used to just spray it after I get done with my makeup and not even press it into the skin, I just let it sit on the skin. And the reason why I said I didn't really care for it in one of my um, recent videos is because I noticed when I have my makeup on for say eight hours out of the day, it looks more shiny because this product does have um, a little oil in it, but once I press it into my skin, I don't know, I guess pressing it into the skin just makes a, a huge difference when doing that. But I love how it just makes my foundation, like my whole entire face. I just like how it looks once I press it in instead of just having it just sit there on the skin. But I'm blending everything out with my Sonia Kashuk sponge. I get this from Target. I still get questions on this sponge, but you can definitely get it from Target. You guys see how I'm blending that concealer into the foundation, well, the foundation into the concealer around the brows. I actually um, saw a comment on one of my videos um, saying the reason why she doesn't understand people doing foundation, well, brows but foundation, before foundation is because she's, she would think you would mess up the brows while you're doing your foundation, but I don't even touch my brows. Like I just touch 
around the brow. So I just blend that concealer into that foundation and my brows are not even being touched, girl. Like they are fine. And oh my God, can we talk about the video where I did my foundation routine like Jackie Ina's? I know I did not blend in that video. Like even watching, like even watching the footage when I was editing the video, I was like, girl, what is going on? Cause like I had patches of foundation here, patches of concealer, like nothing was blended out good because I was just more focused on how she was doing her foundation routine and I just really wasn't paying so much attention. But when I'm editing these videos, I can see it all. Like I see everything. And for the concealer, I'm using my um, Oma Beauty Concealer in the shade T2. Another product that I just honestly can't put down because I love it so much. Okay, so I used to do my concealer um, I used to just bring it out all the way like this and just go ham with the concealer. But now I just focus most of the product right here and I bring it down like this. And then I'll just take a little bit of swipe, like a little swipe like that under my eye. But I used to do like that whole triangle. Now I just do it like that. And then I always take some down the bridge of my nose, my forehead. Another thing with the concealer on my forehead, I used to bring it, like I used to put so much right here, but now I just put just a little bit right here because you just don't need all that concealer on your forehead. Then I take my other sponge by Sonia Kashuk and I just blend it out like this. I kind of blend it downwards like this and kind of take it above the lip and then blend it under the eye like this. And then I take it over on top of the eyelid like that. So doing it like this is pretty much acting as my eyeshadow primer because I honestly and truly don't even use eyeshadow primers. I just use concealer like this and then I'll go on top of that with a setting powder to set it. But look how that looks. Good. Now that my concealer is on, I go in with setting powder. Um, I cannot put this down. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Translucent, yeah, the Translucent Matte Powder. So this is pretty matte. If you don't want a matte powder, you may not want this, but this keeps everything in place all day long. Like my skin looks so good when I'm using this. It has a little mesh net thing right there so i always close it up and just shake it like this and this just gets most of the product at the top and i still take a sponge i don't use brushes anymore to apply my setting powder my loose setting powder but if i'm using a press setting powder i use a brush but i just find using sponges it just gets like it just gets the job done so much better in my opinion but anyway, you guys see what I'm doing. I'm putting on the setting powder on my lids and then I just take it down my nose. Everywhere that I applied my concealer, I apply the setting powder. And just to give me that nice sculpted look, I go in with a little setting powder on the side of my face, just my jawline like this. This just makes your, your um, face look more sculpted. So once you apply your bronzer, you can really see it. Like if you wanna do contouring, it just gives you the illusion of an already sculpted contoured look. And I don't wipe that away. I go in with another powder, um, which is my Sephora Micro Smooth, my favorite, favorite, favorite press powder. This is all I use. If I'm not using anything from the drugstore, this is what I'm using. Love this powder, you guys. It just makes everything look more smooth and just more even. Like, it just makes my face look so good. So, I just dust on a little bit of this on the side of my face, down my jawline, just to kind of buff away that other setting powder. And then I just buff it out like this, down my neck. And then whatever is left on the brush, like I don't dip the brush back into the product. So whatever is left, let me hide my edges. Um, whatever is left, I kind of lightly go in where I applied the other setting powder. 
just so it won't look too white or too ashy in that area. But I just lightly dust it in the middle of the face. And then, voila so this is the part where i go back into my brows and i just lightly um, i take the little spoolie and i lightly blend this part in right here because i don't know about you but i hate when brows look like that like i hate that choppy look so i always like to go in and blend this part out and the reason why I do it after my entire face is done is because a little bit of the foundation and the powder a little bit of it can get into the brow so it can give you that faded look like that hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about so do you see the difference like this side has that little fade and this side is more of a shoop all right, now it's time to bronze up my face. I always like to go in with bronzer because I feel like this look right here, I mean, it looks nice, but it just doesn't look, it doesn't give me that warmth. Like I want the warmth on my face. I always like to warm up my face after I get done doing my powders and all of that. So you definitely don't have to put on bronzer, but if you want, more warmth to the skin and give you that, you know, more of a definition, then you can use a bronzer or you can contour, but I always like to bronze instead. So I'm gonna take my Sephora Pro Face Palette. This one is deep, so the darker one, and I'm going to dip into this shade right here. This is my bronzer. This is what I've been using pretty much all month long because I put this in my everyday makeup stash for the month, and I'm just going to lightly bronze up my skin look how pretty that is like this makes a difference warming up the face with a little bronzer girl get you some bronzer and you will be good i'm using a tom ford bronzer brush if any of you are wondering and i always like to bronze up the sides of my nose so i'm gonna take my fenty beauty bronzer in the shade coco naughty and i used to take the bronzer like I used to start right here and go down straight like this but after seeing Jackie do her tutorials and her routines I love how she just starts it right here and just kind of take it into the brow just a little bit because this just gives you more of a defined look like this makes you look so much more snatched and I like how this looks so I just take it like this and then I lightly kind of bring it down like that but I used to put most of the product right here in the middle like right here and then work my way down like that but now I try to start right here where my brow is kind of right here where the dip where it dips and then kind of lightly bring it down like that then what I do is I'll take my foundation well my powder brush that I use to um, buff out my powder on my face I just take it and lightly go over that bronzer because I don't want any harsh lines. I don't want it to look too, you know, too dark. Just want it to look more natural. Okay, so the face is almost done. I always like to go in with a little bit of blush and then of course do my eyeshadow, mascara, eyeliner, all that. But um, the blush I'm using is this one by Minted Cosmetics. This is one of their new blushes. This one is in the shade Peach for the Stars. So it's a really, really, really pretty tangerine orangey color, which I have been obsessing over. Love this color. It has a little bit of um, shimmer to it, but you can barely see it. Once you apply it on your skin, it just gives you that really pretty flush of peach slash, I don't know. I just can't explain how it looks but it gives you a really pretty glow but it's not too glowy so I don't have to wear a highlighter when wearing this because it already gives you that nice sheen I don't know if you guys can see so I'm not even gonna put on any highlighter today so this is the part where I go in with eyeshadow but I'm not gonna take any um, I'm not gonna get an eyeshadow palette I'm just gonna stick with this bronzer by Fenty Beauty this one is in the shade Coco Naughty and I'm gonna use my M504 blending brush by Morphe we're just gonna put this all over the lids because we're really not focusing on any other products. We're just talking about my foundation routine in today's video. So I'm just gonna buff on a little bit of that, just pretty much all over the lid. 
I think I already had like a color on the brush already because I was using this with a um, with one of my eyeshadows earlier but this gives me a nice color on the lid just a little bit of the color just to give me you know a little something something I was gonna put on some false lashes but honestly I don't even feel like fooling with lashes so we're just gonna keep this look simple because like I said we're really just talking about my foundation routine we're not really focusing on eyeshadow eyelashes all of that but yes this is how pretty much everything looks the next step I would take is mascara so where's my mascara I'm actually gonna use the new Too Faced damn girl mascara I don't think I've shared this one on my channel yet um, I got this little free sample when I ordered some stuff on Sephora but my thoughts on this mascara because I have been using this I don't know I think I like the better than sex one better because this the one is actually a little bit more fatter on this one than the other one and it's kind of I don't know I kind of struggle I have like baby lashes and the other mascara by Too Faced I don't know I just like it better because the one isn't as fat as this one and my lashes are like itty bitty itty bitty itty bitty all right so the mascara is on um it's so hard to get my bottom lashes with that mascara because the one is so freaking fat but whatever um lips i'm gonna take a lipstick by minted cosmetic in the shade peach please and i'm gonna apply a little bit of this on the lips and i'm gonna take another lip product by minted this is their gloss in the shade coalition and this is another little corally peachy color and just go on top of the lips with this this is like the perfect peachy coral lip for the summertime Ooh, i totally forgot to spray my face so i'm gonna take the farsali spray shake it up and spray the face and then I'm gonna take my beauty sponge and just lightly tap it into the skin. Like this. All right, so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed my updated foundation routine. Let me know if there was anything that I shared in today's video that you guys use. Let me know um, if there's any foundations that you've been loving recently. Um, yes, oh, I do do a giveaway. I do do, I do. I am doing a giveaway on my channel for this whole year. So every single month I give away one box to one person and it's really easy to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed. Make sure you thumbs up the video as well as leave a comment down below in the comment section. And I really don't want the comments to be anything about the giveaway. Let's talk about foundations. Let's talk about the foundation you've been loving recently, especially around this time of the year since it is pretty hot. Um, but yes, I think that is all that I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you thumbs it up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.